Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 27. Inside this video, we are going to use factory to seed data. Basically, this is the continuation of last two videos. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of CakePHP4, Coordinator 4, MySQL, Node.js, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. If I back to browser, this is the blogging website where we have several different different categories. Inside each category, you will get several interesting blog articles. If I scroll to home page, now we should see a section called latest blog post, which displaying the recently posted blog articles. These topics are very interesting to learn. Back to the topic. In the last two videos, we had seen the concept of seeder and how we can use the figure library to seed dummy data. Now inside this video, we are going to use the concept of factory. In the last video, we had seen that this is the code we had written and here we have used the figure library. So by the help of figure library, each time we have generated the dynamic static value means dynamic test data. But let's say that we want number of rows equal to 10 or let's say number of rows equal to 100. So for that, either we can use the for loop inside this run method or we have the best option to use factory for that. So first of all, we need to create a factory file. So if I back to terminal and press here called PHP artisan pressing enter, wait for the command list and inside this make command list, we will see that we have a make factory command. This command will create a new model factory class file. So if I type here, let's say php artisan help, let's say make factory. Now if I press enter, now we can see that we need to pass the name of the class. And also inside these options, we have let's say minus M, which stands for model and we need to pass the name of the model. So about the complete concept of model, we will see from the next video. But for now, we are going to create a model and we will pass inside this model flag. So to create model, also, we have the command called php artisan make model. If we go again to the command list, so inside this php artisan make command list, we will have a make model. This is going to create a new eloquent model class. So, what I will do firstly, let's say that we are going to create a model. So, php artisan make model and one more thing before creating any model we need to know or this is very important to know that what is the naming convention to creating any model if I back to slide open a new tab so let's say that we have a table called students so this is plural but when we want to create the model respective respective with this table so model should be something called student only if i put a comma here so this is something like this the table name should be plural and the model name should be singular in another case if we suppose the table name we have called users now we understood the model should be something called user. So in this case, as we know that inside our database, we have the table called students. So we will create the singular model class name and that is student. Back to terminal. So PHP artisan make model and simply we need to pass the model class name called student. Pressing enter. Model created successfully. Now if we go here, press Ctrl B to get the left sidebar, reload this page and the models will be stored inside this app models directory. 
here we can see that student.php now if we open this file and here we have a student class file now this student file means model class is pointing a student stable now let's create a factory file so php artisan let's make factory we need to pass the factory name so let's say that we have called student factory passing model as a flag equals to and here we need to pass the model class name so we have called student now if we press enter factory created successfully copy this command what we have used back to slide and pasting it here so this is the command we have used to create our student factory file back to editor reload this directory structure and the factory file should be stored inside this database and inside this database we know that we have three folders called factories migrations and seeders so the factory file will go inside this factories directory and here is the file so if we click on that now inside this student factory which is a class inside this here we have a protected model variable which is pointing towards this student model class and inside this we have a definition method so inside this case only we need to pass our let's say column name and its value inside key value pairs so what i will do as we know that inside our table the columns we have called name email mobile age gender and address info so what i will do simply we need to pass the same columns in the same pattern called name email here we have mobile next we have age gender and finally we have let's say address underscore info let's check one more time name email mobile age gender and address info now inside this case we are going to again use the figure library so inside this case as we know from the last video that is the figure library by default is integrated inside this laravel 8 setup we don't need to actually install by the help of composer command so we can access here inside this factory called this faker and as we know that we have a name method to generate and in the last video inside this cedar we have created a manual instance of this faker library but this time we are using factory so inside this factory the class has loaded itself its package called factory and here inside this we can actually access the figure library by the help of this instance now for email as we know that we have called this faker and here we have called safe email next we have the mobile number so let's say this faker and keep in mind we have the phone number in the last video the same property we have used now for the age we need to actually use the numbers between so let's say this faker here we have let's say numbers between we need to pass the minimum and the maximum value so minimum value i will pass 25 and let's say maximum value supposed to be 45 for the gender let's say that this faker here we have called random element and inside this we need to pass an array and inside this array the available options of gender we have called male female and others inside this address info we will use the address property so this faker and let's say address all we have done we have completed the architecture or let's say the total definition of student factory now we need to dump inside our database cedar.php file so go here now this time we are not going to run any cedar file instead we are going to run our factory supposed file what we have created 
So the next step, we, what we have to do, go to the cedar file, means main cedar file and uncomment this line. By default, when we install our Laravel 8 setup, then this is the command by default actually written inside this run method because this is by default file. What we got inside this cedars folder and this is the default line we have written here. Now inside this case, as we know that we have app, models, user and factory. But as we know, we have got students model. So what we have to do, let's say use student. This is the model. Inside this case, we are not using called user model. So here we have called student. And for this student model, we have to use factory file. And let's say that back to our phpmy admin go to students table and let's delete all the rows what we have inside this table so no, so the number of rows right now we don't have any row total empty so let's say that we want to create the number of rows equals to 10 so what i will do simply write this line go inside this terminal and we have to run called php artisan db seed when we run this command it is going to find all the loading concepts here inside this database seeder and seed so pressing enter now we can see database seeding completed successfully back to browser reload this table and inside this table we are getting the number of records equals to 10 so here we have the id equals to 4 and the ID ends inside this 13. If suppose we want to generate the number of rows means test data equals to 100, only we need to pass the 100 value here instead of 10 value. So this is overall the concept of factory, how we can use and how we can generate the test data. In the next video, we will start learning about the concept of models so for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.